next time bring a bigger bomb, will you? Hey, how the fuck was I supposed to know Clementi will be in a bedroom? I mean, he what is one lucky guy. Off early. Don't worry, we'll get him. Okay, say less. Because if we don't get him, it's gonna be our asses, Joe. Our asses are on the line. If we don't make this work... Oh! Oh, thanks, Joe. Okay, I'm gonna take that, thank you. Alright. On the, the catwalk, stay less. Army? Yep, they did actually. There you go. Thank you. All right, we good, right? Get that asshole on the catwalk. Yep, oh, right in the knees. Oh. All right, we good, right? Yeah, we oh, good. Oh, that's the best you got. Yeah, of course that's the best. Wait. Wow, that's nice. Oh, I just love collecting these magazines. That's like one of my favorite parts of this game. Okay. Back me up, I got you. Who's shooting? Come here. Come here. Watch it. Up there. Thank you. Oh, honey, Come on. Up and then the catwalk, of course. Bye. Let's go. Where he at? Hurry up. Thank Take you. Up. Hurry up here. Dude, I'm trying. Wait, let me change my ammo. And also make sure I'm not dead. Alright, we good? Yeah, we good. Come on, Marty's out there all alone. Whoa, whoa, I'm almost getting killed here, Joe. Relax. Let's take our time. Are we really in a rush? Okay, are we good? Yeah, we good. We are good. Let's go. I don't see anyone here. Okay, we should be good. They're getting away. No. Wait. No. <gasps> no. Oh, Marty, he's dead. Let's go. I'm gonna kill that Oh, Marty, dang! Come on. You think it's over? Wrong, assholes. All right, there's two of them. They split up. Make sure you follow Clementi, not the other guy. I got oh, it. Alive, all right, just be ready with the gun. Don't worry about that. Just follow Clementi. He's in the black limo. Hey, Joe, I got eyes too, you know? I just love how the car is suddenly fixed. That is so hilarious. Joe, come on. Nice job. Clemente's next. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, are we good? Come on. Come on. We got this. There you go. There you go. Come on. A couple more shots, Joe. And he's done for. He's ours. I'm trying. Boom. And what? And what? Let's go. Let's go. He ain't gonna escape now. And selling the car the is fixed sure again. That's right, Joe. Two bullets in his head. Don't make the same mistakes that Tommy did in part one. So casual. This is for Marty. Damn, he unloaded a whole clip. Now a whole clip. Over. Let's go to my place. Okay. Say less. You want a beer? Give me Eddie's number. I'll call him. Right. Okay, but take the beer too, bro. You need a drink. After all the things we've been through already. Losing Marty. Almost getting killed. Bomb not going according to plan. Hello? This is Joe. It's done. Everything went smooth. No, it didn't. Why? Marty's dead. What? They got Marty. We left them there. Okay, okay. What about Clementi? Done. All right. Hey, don't worry about the kid. Small price to pay. The main Sm thing is it's Small done. price? Come on now. That's my fucking friend you're talking hey, about. Joe, Joe, don't go taking it out on 
me. It was your right there. Nobody forced the kid to go. I'm sorry, but shit happens, right? Come by the Falcon tomorrow to get your money. Yeah, whatever. The fuck you're sorry! All right, take it Joe. easy now. All right, calm down. I'm sorry too. More than you think, but you knew the risks. You too. Yeah, me too. Hey, this was a dangerous job. You took him along, he died. You convinced him, what, Joe. You think the war was any different? And Eddie didn't even know the kid, so don't blame him. You convinced him. You should go home. Oh, he didn't like the he didn't like my answer, huh? Okay, well. Just give me a minute to get changed. Huh. I'm sorry, kid. I am so sorry. Oh, Joe, bendito. Look at him feeling remorseful. But honestly, you brought the kid to our plan. You convinced him to go along with our plan. And then you had the audacity to get surprised at the fact that he ends up getting killed joe what do you expect my boy what do you expect okay i need Ooh, i'll take this we interrupt this no 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 anyways i'm not i'm not trying to get uh well it's probably too late but still The thing is, if you're going to go play big boy games, expect to receive big boy loss losses. Like, yes, it's unfortunate that Marty died in the line of our stupidity, if you want to think about it, since you want to bring a bomb to a gun show. But don't cry because of the consequences of your actions. Duh, Joe. Duh. Of course Marty's gonna die. Of course Marty is gonna bite the dust because of your actions, Joe. You really think this is the movies? You really think this is a game? Being in the Mafia it's not all fun and games, big boy. You gotta make sacrifices. You gotta make losses. And this is one loss that is now under your belt. A loss that now is stained on your hands. So don't go crying saying, I'm sorry, kid. Because in all reality, you're not the one who's burying him. His family is. All thanks to you, Joe. All thanks to you. And I know what some of you guys are thinking. Nah, don't be too hard on him. Bro, he's responsible for getting that kid killed. Of course I'm going to be hard on him. Just because you want to play. Ooh, ooh, that's a car accident right there. And they just kept it moving. You can tell neither of them had any car insurance. But anyways... Back to my rant. <clears throat> Anyways. <laughs> Just because you want to go and act like you're ready to play big boy games doesn't mean you're going to not get big boy consequences. Come on, my man. Come on. You know, Marty is a very impressionable young man. And he would do anything just to go and try to impress you. Clearly, that's why he was offering you his gun, his services, because he was trying to impress you. Because he looked up to you. He admired you. And now look. Where is he looking? Nowhere, because he's dead. Dead as hell. What shoes, what, with what shoes he got on? <sighs> what shoes does he got on? Besides blood-stained shoes. Rest in peace, Marty. Oh, oh, what now? What now? It's the middle of the night. Okay, something else must have happened. Let me run over to the phone. Hello? 
Hello? Yeah, uh, is this a veto? Who's asking? Who's asking? Name's Leon. I'm the bartender at the Lone Star. I'm ringing you because Joe Barbaro gave me your number. Says he's a friend of yours. Yeah. What about him? Well, old Joe been guzzling my top shelf hooch all night long, dribbling on about some cat named Marty, and now he done just gone plain salty on me. What the what hell are you talking about? Your friend is out of control, man. He all waving his gun around and shit, and we can't talk no sense to him. Oh, Joe, come Great. on. Now, look, I ain't looking for no trouble with you fellas. Could you please come pick his drunk ass up before he shoots somebody or somebody calls the police? Vito, yeah, I got you. You got to come on down here and pick his ass up. You coming or not? All right, I'll be right there. And hey, don't give him any more booze till I get there. I'm a try, but your friend, he ain't gonna be down with that. You dig? So hey, give him water. If you don't cut him off right now, I'm gonna cut you off when I get there. Got it? All right, man. All right, just hurry. All right, how many people are in the bar right now? Just me now. Joint was jumping about an hour ago. But now everybody done gone and split. All right, listen. Lock the place up till I get there. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, gotcha. Damn, Joe. Look at you. Look at you being a drunk. How is that going to help bring Marty back, huh? How is that going to bring back Marty? Damn it, Joe. Okay, so what outfit am I going to get? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see what outfit am I going to get. I gotta look all nice and cute, you know. Um, let me see. I want an outfit that I have yet to wear. How about that? Hey, this is the... I'm gonna pick up my drunk friend from the bar outfit. And I see there's a cop right there. Ooh, I forgot I had this car. Okay. Damn, Joe, you really gonna go get drunk at the bar and make a fool all of yourself. How is that gonna help the situation, huh? How is this going to help the situation, Joe? Come on, Joe. Are you dead ass right now? Are you really dead ass right now with this, this behavior? Come on. I get it. You're depressed. You're suffering. You feel bad that you are the main cause of this kid's death, but being drunk, being a fool, will not bring him back. Will not bring him back. Shut up! Will not bring him back at all. Oh, Vito, you all here? Right. Where is he? Over in the corner there. Now look, I tried to cut him off, but the motherfucker was gonna air my ass out if I did. Okay, lock that door and just give me a minute with him. Joe. Got a couple, huh? How you feeling? Vito, about time you showed up, everybody went home already. Gee, Joe, I wonder why. Look at oh. you, waving <laughs> your gun around right. like a fool. You drive here? Nah, I took a cab. I wouldn't park my car in this neighborhood. All right, finish your drink and let's go. You fellas about to oh, leave? Marty, I'll let you out. Here's to you, kid. You went out like a man. Oh, Joe. Shit, now where'd I put my keys? I'm so <coughs> sorry, kid. This never should have happened. Never should have happened. Oh, jeez. <gasps> ah, shit. Joe! Joe! You've got to be kidding me. What? Fuck is wrong with you? You killed an innocent person. You just what? Shut your fucking mouth and get your drunk ass outside. All right, all right, I'm gone. Great. Now we have a dead body. We have a dead body in our hands. Ah, oh, shit, Joe. Great. Great, Joe. Good job. Getting all drunk up, acting like a fool. And now look. Now look. A dead body. A dead body. Rest in peace. I am so sorry. 
He didn't mean to kill you. He's just stupid and reckless. Ah, oh, Joe. You idiot. You idiot. You idiot. I'm pissed. And now I have to go and hide the body. Is that how it goes? Oh, man. I can't. Yup, that's right. I'm in that mood. The police want to arrest me for what? Oh, snap. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me go ahead and make sure I outdrive these cops. Okay, they haven't found me, so that's good. Probably because I ran over the gate, that's why. Whatever, don't honk at me. You see how quiet and silent Joe is? I've never seen him this quiet before in my life. And that's the first of many. If only you were this quiet all the time, Joe. If only you were this quiet, huh? Or maybe he's just knocked out. Is he asleep? Nah, he awake. Dude, what am I supposed to do with this body, though? Oh, Joe. I don't know what to tell you, Joe. Drinking? Being drunk like this? It ain't cute. It's downright sad. The pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Oh, screw oh, you, man. copper. Oh shit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Wow. That was crazy. Ugh, Joe. I'm sorry, Joe. Yeah, I know you're awake now. I stay crashing this game. And another one. Crashed twice. Twice. You know, it's a good thing my girlfriend doesn't watch this game because I know for a fact if she sees me driving like this, she would be like, You don't know how to drive! And I'm like, okay, it's a game, relax. Relax, at least I know how to drive in real life. And then she'll be like, yeah, okay. Alright, we're here. Alright, we're here. We're home. Try not to shoot anybody on the way to the front door, huh? Thanks, Vito. Whatever. Hey. I'm sorry about Look, just call me tomorrow, okay? And you're helping me get rid of this body too, Joe. You're not off the hook. Dump the body? What? You mean to tell me I have to dump the body? Oh, come on. I have to do all the work. You know what? You know what? Whatever. He owes me a favor. That's all I have to say. Joe? Joe owes me a favor for, for dumping the body. Man, this is... I feel bad, though. An innocent man getting killed? What if he had a wife? What if he had kids? What if this poor man who got killed by Joe had a MILF waiting for him at home. I would be sad if I had to go to work and I was not be able to come home just because some idiot decides to get drunk and accidentally shoot me to death. Move! I don't care if you got killed or not. Anyways. Hay is for horses. And I am not a horse. As what my girl would call me, she says that I'm more of a donkey. Let's leave it at that. Drive the car into the press. Oh, <gasps> no. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Get out. Wow, I am pressing this car, huh? Hey, how do I press this car? Hold on. How do I get in? Open door. Hey. 
No? We're not gonna talk? Okay. Alright. How do I press this car, though? I just love how he's watching me do this, too. Oh, it's right there! Duh! No, it's not right there. Dang. Okay. I'm trying to go up these stairs, but clearly I am struggling, and I do not know why. Crush your mechanism block clear the entrance area. So I have to drive inside even more, is what you're saying. Okay. Okay. There you go. That's it. I drove all the way down there, so we should be good. Can't believe I'm doing all of this. Wow. So this is how they get rid of bodies. That's cute. What? The car disappeared? There should be a... You know what? I'm not even going to be questioning anything. That is all I have to say. And also, how am I supposed to get home? I need a car. I need a car! How am I supposed to get home? Hey, can I go- Do you got a car for me or no? No? Okay, Mike. Thanks. I appreciate it. I appreciate you helping me, Mike. No, seriously. I need- Am I really supposed to walk all the way over here? Without any cars? Yeah, this is going to be a long, long way home. Hey, yo. Who the hell is that? Hey, yo, please, it better not be... Uh, it better not be one of the bar owner's friends, because I still feel bad for the fact that he's dead because of my friend. Oh, change my clothes. Oh, I forgot. Alright, so what should I wear today? Hmm. I grabbed my friend from the bar and he accidentally killed someone, so this should be... This should be a good outfit. Alright. Hey, Beto. Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. Mmm, should I? Should I really go in the car with him? I mean, stranger danger, am I right? Who knows if he came to finish the job? Isn't it bad to go into people's cars because of the fact that that's like the best way to get killed well i guess you know clemente's dead along with everybody else listen vito i know falcone had something to do with this and i'm worried that he's gonna want to take out what's left of the family and i should care about this why well yeah look about you going away I'm yeah sorry for what clemente did to you but he got who's coming to him right i don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard Matter of fact, I work for Falcone just the same. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought uh, maybe you think you could put in a good word for me. Yeah, sure. Really? Me and Joe can vouch for you. Thanks, Vito. I owe you one. You know that is such an understatement so, uh, because you really do owe me. Life. You mean before or after half the guys I know got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Yeah, no what are you talking about? That's funny. Because a buddy of Joe's got popped in a parking lot that day. So I just figured you two in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. He knows. Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive. Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss that day. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. 
Next time get a better disguise than a phony fuck a mustache. I saw you two pricks from a mile away. Wow. Wow. Don't worry about it. You did what you had to do. He knew. He knew it was us. And yeah, he still acts. To be honest with you. Not really. This is what I am. What I'm good at. Yeah. Now I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? Thanks. Enough or nothing, how come you came to see me and not Joe? Look, uh, Joe's solid. But I wouldn't exactly want him speaking on my behalf. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. I'm not gonna lie, if it wasn't for the fact that this car is dirty, it would be pretty nice to drive around. But man, this car is so ugly looking with all the debris and the dust. But it's so funny how Henry wants to join in on my crew. That definitely, that definitely says a lot about the current family he's in right now. I love how I just caught off that cop and they didn't do anything. Talk about freedom, am I right? <laughs> but yeah, it's so crazy. Ooh, hey, hold Jesus. on. Red light means stop. Hey, Henry, this is Mafia 2. I can do whatever I want. If you don't like how I drive, then get out of here. Am I right? Hey, take it easy on the gas pedal. Take it easy. I'm in a rush. Okay. But yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm interested. I'm inter interested to see how Henry will play out in this little family of ours. Hold on. Hey. Hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thank you so much. Thanks. Look at that. A fat nice stack. Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah. Can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what? Is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right. A guy I know who works for Clemente called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clemente's guys or not. Oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point. Unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? Was he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clemente. Really knows his shit. Eh. Okay, tell him to stop by. He's right over there, actually. He's here right now. <laughs> he is? All yep. Right. Go get him, then. Look Eddie, at this that. Is Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. Now take a seat, Henry. Networking so, at its best. Eddie I love tells this. Me you want to join up with us? Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clemente and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Guarino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. That bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing him himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. No, we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. Just like that, huh? What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? 
I'll do it. Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. No? It's like a father to me back in the camp. Yeah, I understand. Okay, never like mind. You gotta take care of this yourself, Eddie. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it. Don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay, you better get going in. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody will know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later. Eddie. See ya. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.